Thank you for joining us. I'm Tracy Lair. We begin your news channel with breaking news, a historic announcement from President Joe Biden. Earlier today, the president said he's stepping away from his reelection bid and later endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris as the Democratic nominee. His decision came amid growing pressure from many inside his party after last month's debate performance. The president said in part, quote, while it has been my intention to seek reelection, I believe it is in the best interests of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term, end quote. I am uh, emotional about the president's decision because this president, Joe Biden, has been a transformational president. He's been a great leader. He's a good man, a decent man, who has done so much for this nation, but so much to see us as people, to value us, to fight for us. This was a very difficult decision and one that I think reflects the very best of who Joe Biden is. The challenge of seeing this moment and of recognizing what was in the best interest of the nation was a significant challenge. I still believe he could have beaten Donald Trump, but I also know that what he's done today is in the best interest of our nation. President Biden made the decision while recovering from COVID at his home in, in Delaware. The president will address the nation later this week. After being endorsed by President Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris came out with a statement of her own. Harris says she is honored by Biden's endorsement. She said she will unite the nation, defeat Donald Trump, and quote his extreme Project 2025 agenda. Many Democrats quickly endorsed Harris, including Governor Gavin Newsom and the Clintons, but other big names such as Nancy Pelosi and Barack Obama, who also addressed President Biden's historic announcement, have not openly endorsed Harris. With Harris at the top of the ticket now, there is a long list of potential VP contenders, all of whom have their own presidential ambitions. The Democratic National Convention begins Monday, August 19th. While President Biden's news has shocked the country, here at home local representatives and residents gave their thoughts on the announcement. News Channel reporter Andy Lopez Bournette has the story. President Joe Biden is officially out of the presidential race. The announcement comes just a few days after Trump gave his 92 minute speech at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. In a statement written on X from Biden, he states, quote, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term, end quote. Biden then posted to his ex account his full support and endorsement to Kamala Harris. Local representatives react to the news, including Congressman Salud Carbajal, who issued a written statement saying, quote, in one term as president of the United States, Joe Biden has achieved what most presidents in modern times could not. He has guided the United States of America back from the depths of a deadly pandemic and devastating economic downturn to increase the strongest economy in the world, end quote. Like President Biden did on his social media page, Carbajal also endorsed Harris for the Democratic nominations. Both parties reacted to the news, including local Republican Representative Bobby McGinnis. The news today was not surprising that Joe Biden is going to be stepping down, but what is surprising is that it didn't happen a lot sooner. For the Republican Party, our message is still the same. We want to bring back a safe America, a wealthy America, and we want to bring back a strong America. And the man to do that, the president to do that, is former President Donald Trump. While the world reacts to the news from Biden today, I came to downtown Santa Barbara to hear what the locals had to say. Oh, I didn't hear he dropped out. I actually did not hear that. Oh, my goodness. And while some local residents were finding out from us that Biden dropped out of the election, one of the questions I asked was, how will the election impact Santa Barbara County residents and businesses? The question for me is, uh, how will it impact the country? Will it unify us? And so if it unifies the country, it'll unify Santa Barbara. I do believe if Kamala was in the seat, I do believe medication costs would be more at what they're at now, maybe going lower, possibly. I believe that if um, Trump was president, I don't think he'd really give a dang about my, my, my epilepsy medicine being expensive. 
Former Santa Barbara County District Attorney Joyce Dudley shared her support to Kamala Harris as November approaches. If our country gets to know the Kamala Harris that I know, they will want her to be president of the United States. Dudley has known Kamala Harris for 15 years when there were eight women district attorneys in California out of 58 counties. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Andy Lopez Barnett. Many local officials have come out with statements as well regarding the historic announcement and endorsement of Harris as the next nominee, such as Congresswoman Julia Brownlee, who said in part, President Joe Biden will be remembered as one of the greatest presidents of our time. She said, I know his decision to step aside was a difficult one, but as always, he put our country first. I am more than proud to endorse Kamala Harris for president of the United States. State Senator Monique Limon also spoke out, saying in part, quote, I am incredibly grateful to President Joe Biden for his decades of service to our country. He has delivered for working Americans and brought us out of unprecedented times. I know this decision was not made lightly and only further cements his legacy as a leader who puts the people and country first for the betterment of all Americans. And State Assembly member Don Addis also told Your News Channel, quote, I thank President Joe Biden for his service to our nation. President Biden's leadership has made our country better and has given us hope. I look forward to the work that his administration continues to do and his ongoing commitment to all Americans. For the full statements and more updates and local coverage on the major announcement made today by President Joe Biden, check out our mobile app and our website at KUIT.com.